Hello and welcome to Australia in Space TV. My name is Chris Coverage. I'm the executive editor with My Security Media. We're at the 14th Australian Space Forum with the Andy Thomas Space Foundation here in Adelaide. I'm joined by uh, Lloyd Jacob Lopez with Hex 20. Lloyd, thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting me for this. This <laughs> is very good. Um, Lloyd, we had you in uh, a recent edition of the Australia in Space magazine. You did an interview with Dr. Alice Gorman. Uh, so we've had some uh, sort of insights into Hex 20 before. Maybe introduce us to the company. Yeah, so I was, uh, I moved to Australia in 2019 in October. Right. So I was um, there for the ISU event and yes. we were planning to set up the startup here. So that is when I first met Dr. Alice. So she introduced me to the you know, the industry here, I, was, yeah, right. I should say. So she introduced me to Darren, who introduced me to uh, Jasmine, and we ended up um, setting up our startup in ICC. Wonderful. So that, that was an incredible start. And so we are a small team uh, with a lot of passion looking at, you know, space. And uh, Australia or, you know, Adelaide gave us that opportunity to have a good start. Yeah. And uh, we are here now with our first project. Great. And uh, yeah, it's it's two years now. <laughs> Wonderful. So Hex Twenty, what what uh, sort of field are you in? So what we do is we are currently working on small platforms to um, take you know different payloads to space. And uh, what we do is to build uh, you know a platform around the payload uh, so to the to the payload specification, I would specifically yeah. say, and then to customize that and, and fly that. So we do end-to-end -end mission. So uh, one of the first um, project or proposals that we did was with Adelaide Uni to put up a proposal for the moon to Mars, where we were designing a 12-view platform for flying one of the payloads. And uh, with the first project that we're doing, we are designing a 3-view platform to fly a IoT payload for okay. Taiwan. What, what's your background? How have you got into this field? So it's interesting that uh, all the <coughs> all the founders we are from the same high school. <laughs> nice. We are from the same town. We are from the same part of India in Kerala. So I was into software and you know software services before this. So it was a started as a small company. We grew to almost 250 staff. And then when I decided that I'm moving to Australia, we were having discussions on, you know, doing a space technology company. It was not easy at that time. Yeah. But when we came to Australia, or when we were planning to come to Australia, we knew that the, you know, the agency was starting up and there was a lot of support for, from the government to, you know, yeah. for, especially for the space tech startup. And that's exactly what yeah. happened. So. <laughs> But is it ironic that you were in India, you've come to Australia, and now you've got an MOU with Indian companies going back so it's, to, it's, it, how is that working? It's not exactly like that. So I was based in, in Dubai. So ah, I, was okay, right. yeah, I was looking at the operations for you know, Middle East in Europe and North Africa. Yeah. So it was a software services company. So we were looking at projects. So, but there was a lot of experience around that. And then uh, when, we, when I moved to Adelaide, um, I saw how things, are different here, yeah. And especially the kind of support that uh, the Australian, you know, space startups are getting, it's amazing. Wonderful. Yeah. Otherwise, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, it would have been the same if I had done the same thing somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. So anything that stood out within that journey that really made that difference? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll tell you one point because you know when we went for the Bangalore Space Expo um, uh, with Enrico. One of the startups there asked, they asked, you know, why they should come to Australia. So, as a startup in Australia, so I told them, see, in Australia now, we have put together a proposal with the Australian Space Agency and uh, a, a project that is funded by NASA. Yeah, it's amazing to work with uh, yeah. two space agencies. Yeah, and now, when we signed the MOU with the Indian company, we are going to work with the Indian Space Agency too. Nice, nice. So I don't know where <laughs> we would have found an equation like that. And it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a go great opportunity to do something like that. Wonderful. So I think the the current, you know, India-Australia collaboration is going to build a lot of yeah. connects like that and we'll be able to do some amazing, you know, projects. Well, you're still a really uh, a, a, a young startup 
What's your outlook over the next sort of 12 to 18 months? See, it's, it's going to be exciting. So even though we are a, we are a very young startup, the founders, has, founders, we have a lot of experience. Your experience, yeah. Businessman, yeah. yeah. So it's not only business in, in, in space, you know, one of my co-founder, Mr. Amal Chandran, he has a lot of experience in space. He's been working in the industry for past, you know, 15, 20 years. Yeah. So that, that's the kind of experience that we are building, uh, we are bringing to Australia. And uh, the next few years are really interesting because there, there will be a lot of, you know, small and big projects that are going to happen. And if we are getting part of that and to try all these new cutting edge, you know, um, you know, cutting edge instruments that the unis are, yeah. universities and research organizations are producing. If we are able to fly that and test that, see that's, that's a very big capability that is required as a startup. Yeah. And then to look at, you know, what all we can bring or build in the future. Have you got customers now already or are you still in the development phase? <laughs> we have two paying customers now. Two? Two, yeah. Wonderful. So one is from Singapore and one is from Taiwan. So that's okay. the Taiwan, you know, project that we're doing. And we are in discussion with a few, uh, a few others. So hopefully we'll have more projects. And uh, yeah, we are planning to do that and build the first satellite here in Australia. And that, that can be one of the first satellites that will be exported out of Australia. Wonderful. Well, look, it's a story worth following as well. You would second time with us now uh, yeah. in Australia in space. So thank you so much, Lloyd. Uh, and best of luck, and hopefully you get plenty out of the space for him uh, on this particular. Yeah, thanks, season. thanks, thanks a lot for this opportunity, and it was nice that uh, you guys, you know, you guys saw us and you guys picked us, and uh, yeah, it's it's again wonderful to be here with you and Great. have this chat. Lloyd Jacob Lopez, uh, Lopez, beg your pardon, <laughs> X20. Thanks for joining us on Thank Australian you. Space TV.